One of the things I've noticed as I've continued to use the Zune software is that there still seems to be a bit of confusion with how it works with album art. So as you can see here on the screen, I'm zoomed in on my massive collection of Green Day, which is all of four uh, songs. Now, you can see here on the left, um, there's the Zune icon for uh, essentially no album art. Now, I was a bit confused when I saw this because I knew that I had actually had album art uh, for that album, for the track that I'd purchased, and uh, the album art had already been downloaded and, in fact, embedded inside of the actual song. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit here, and we'll look at this problem from another angle. If I look in Windows Explorer, I can actually see um, that I do, in fact, have the album art for the song. So this is actually Vista's Explorer view which is kind enough to show me the embedded album art. So this is the actual track and the album art is embedded in that. Now if I switch over to um, a program called Media Monkey, which is my favorite program for working with metadata and actually embedding album art, I can actually click and I can see that I have a nice big fat, um, uh, I think it's 600 by 600 pixel JPEG and that is actually embedded inside of the track and I can look at my other album art and see you know various uh, sizes that are embedded in it but every track does actually have album art but when I switch back to the Zune interface there's actually only two tracks that have album art now what's really of course puzzling about this is that when I look back in the Explorer view I can see uh, that all four of the Green Day tracks actually have album art so this is kind of confusing and I'm not entirely sure what the Zune software is doing or where it's seeing the album art, but hopefully this is something that Microsoft can improve upon in future versions because at the moment um, it's a little bit confusing not seeing the proper album art for the uh, proper songs. Of course the solution here is probably just for the Zune software to uh, read embedded album art. So rather than relying on an external file that it has extracted, it would be a lot better if the software would simply read embedded album art. That's all for now.